What's up, everybody? Noah Kizer back here for my ranking of the May 2021 Hallmark films. There were only four that came out this month. A little sad, I know, but don't worry. We have six for June. I haven't seen any announced for July. Why? Because starting next week, week, sorry, next month on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, they will be airing uh, the Christmas in July movies. Also on Hallmark Channel two weeks later. So we could get a potential random summer one thrown in there a little bit. You could have easily taken out Baby It's Cold Outside and shoved it right into a bonus premiere and uh, made Sweet Carolina just its own standalone premiere. But let's get into it. We have Baby It's Cold Outside, Sweet Carolina, Poison in Paradise, a Martha's, a Martha's Vineyard Mystery, and Morning Show Mysteries, Murder Ever After. So let's get into the, uh, I am not going to say worst, because there was no bad one this year, year this month. Uh, I'm going to say that Poison in Paradise, a Martha's Vineyard Mystery, was my least favorite. I didn't get invested in the story. I liked the chemistry still between Jesse Metcalf and Sarah Lind. I liked their... Relationship starting to just slowly grow as we get more into the series. We did get the kiss last movie, and I thought that this last film was really, really good. Uh, Ships in the Night, I thought that was really decent. Next up, I'm going to go with Baby It's Cold Outside. I thought that this one was just one that they shoved out there. You could have taken out something from... Uh, from the New Year New Movies list and easily put this one in there or you could have saved it for a bonus premiere when it was Christmas in July and you could have just said, hey, you're in the wintry mood, you're seeing snow, you're you're seeing cold, let's go for it. But they didn't do that and that's fine. I thought it was decent. I don't think it's one of the best. I think it was w one of the weaker films of this year for the Hallmark Channel and it was the least viewed because they did not push Baby It's Cold Outside. They didn't air enough previews for it. They pretty much just said, hey, this is coming out. Instead of like what they did with Sweet Carolina. They pushed this thing to high heaven. And did it work? Well, my number two favorite film of Hallmark this month of May is Morning Show Mysteries at Murder Ever After with Holly Robinson Pete and Colin Lawrence. Now... This is coming from somebody who has not seen the uh, other movies. I will at some point this year because I really did enjoy this one. I know that there there's probably better chemistry between uh, Billy and the other guy. But I thought that this film was really enjoyable. I enjoyed the mystery. I enjoyed the journey going along on the journey with them. Figuring out who did it and why they did it. And my favorite film of May for Hallmark Channel was Sweet Carolina. It was Sweet Carolina. There is no movie this week. Sweet Carolina was the Lacey Chabert, Tyler Hines movie all about Lacey Chabert's sister passing away and she now has custody of the kids. And it's all the drama that she is dealing with be being a new parent as well as her father not really trusting her with the kids because she's not a mom and not married. She is dating somebody up in New York City uh, where her, her job is, played by Peter Benson, who is also coinc coincidentally the director of this film. And I just saw a romance movie with him in it called uh, Seasoned with Love. Really good film there. So there's my ranking Poison in Paradise and Martha's Vineyard Mystery, Baby It's Cold Outside, Morning Show Mysteries, Murder Ever After, and Sweet Carolina. So there you go, everybody. I will be going over every single June movie when they come out, the Monday after they come out, as well as the mystery movies the Monday after they come out. So double reviews on Monday. Also, at the end of next month, we will be doing a ranking video of all the Hallmark films thus far. We are halfway through the year as of next month. 
with Hallmark. So we are going to go into each one, and I cannot wait. So I will see all of you guys next time.